all right guys awkward thumbs up uh welcome to another beer review it's uh mid-afternoon and i'm in the mood for a cheeky beer even though i've had a cheeky beer pretty much every day of the week which i don't usually like to do but it's been really warm it's been really sticky and i find the thing that refreshes me the most is a good beer and it's you know got me to get some of the older beers that i've got reviewed and drank and it means that i've got reviews to go online so then if i need to take a week off or so i've got beers that i can just upload but uh yeah i don't do this often so you know i drink beers as much as i drink soft drinks which is very rarely actually until it comes to the summer months when you want to keep hydrated and fizzy water just doesn't do anything for me <laughs> Uh, even though I do enjoy good fizzy water. Anyway, I digress. Today, going back over to the Pirate Brew Berlin, guys. And uh, this is the SPF, which is the 2017 edition pale ale. Uh, every year, Pirate Brew Berlin brews one non-black beer. This is the 2017 edition. Enjoy it with sun. Don't get burnt. Uh, I have caught the sun a fair bit. Uh, these past few weeks but uh, yeah it's a, it's a pale ale from Pirate Brew Berlin and if you haven't done so already please go over and check them out check out my playlist as well I uh, had the like trifecta of uh, porters that they've done and they were all absolutely fantastic and I did have a taste of this one when I was at the craft beer festival earlier this year although it was my dad who picked up a, a sample of this one and it was really nice from what I remember. So this is uh, pale ale, of course, brewed with water, barley malts, and the hops are Chinook, Cascade, and Citra, and of course yeast. Uh, best before date is 1st of the 11th, 2017. Alcohol is 5.5%, 5, 5 and the IBU count is, is that in a 355 milliliter bottle? Very nice. And the IBU count is 35. If that, is that a misprint? Because you very rarely, in fact, I don't think I've ever seen a German, let alone European beer, put into a fringe of 35 milliliter bottle, aside from the stuff from like Green King in those like pint bottle sort of things. But uh, yeah, happy days. So yeah, this was brewed in Berlin at Brewbaker. So of course the link will be down below as well. Very simple artwork, like it indeed. And there you've got the fantastic crown. Unfortunately, my Pirate Brew Berlin t-shirt is in the wash, or else I'd have been a big fanboy and uh, worn it for this review. But yeah, simple white crown. Anyway, let's get this beer opened and see what we get. Nice amounts of smoke and a nice little bubble. Using my uh, festival glass from this year, which I picked up from Beretta, which is where I picked up this bottle of beer as well. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we get with this one then. Um, I remember enjoying the beer, or the taste that I had of it, but I can't remember much about the beer. So this is pretty much new to me. So then, beer in a glass, and that is uh, quite a bit darker and murkier than you would expect from a, a pale ale. Almost more along the lines of like a, it might have like a rye IPA or something like that. We have haze for days. It's got that sort of like um, dark fruit juice look to it as well. It's not exactly vibrant or anything like that. But uh, yeah, lovely sediment cloud right in the middle. Beer poured with about a lacing of white head. And I think there are little bits and bobs in there, or they might just be bubbles stuck to this. Yeah, there are definitely little bits and bobs floating around. So uh, yeah looks really really good i don't remember it being this dark actually when i tried it oh well let's see what we get on the aroma and it's that classical american hoppy pale ale definitely get that citrus edge coming from the citra was there a cascade hop in here yeah you get that cascade hop that's probably one of the only hops that i'm somewhat familiar with because I absolutely love Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale which is a showcase of the um, Cascade up in my opinion. 
this here, it's not as in your face, it's not as domineering, it's a much more balanced hop aroma, but still very punchy in some respects. But yeah, lovely hit of grapefruit in there, tropical tones like um, melon, you know, melon's really tropical, I'm sure. Um, pineapple, mango, that sort of thing. Nice sweet orange character in there, a little bit of lemon lime. Sort of like a bitter lime cordial drink. But yeah, really, really juicy. I'm not too sure if this is brewed in the same sort of vein as a, a New England style pale ale or IPA, but it's definitely got those fruity tones. You get that like ranchery fruit pastel starburst sort of jelly sweet aroma in there, which is really, really nice. And then you get a nice leafiness in the background as well. Like a sort of like a a rocket salad almost. Sherbetty as well. Confectionery sugar. It's really nice and sweet. And then right in the background, you get a lovely sort of like resiny, oily character. Yeah, very prickly as well. It's one of those beers where you could just stand there and just sniff all day. Anyway, it smells wonderful. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mm. On the aroma, that cascade hop was there, but it wasn't the most domineering of flavours in terms of the hop profile. But when you taste it, you get that big hit of the cascade hop. Very zesty, lovely bitterness throughout. It seems to dive down more on the back end as opposed to build up. Lovely medium mouthfeel in there as well. Very crushable, very drinkable. First quenching, it's nice and fruity. It's got that sort of like, con like f natural fruit juice around where it's not had any sweetness put in there's no pulp put in to bulk it up and make it a bit more vibrant big hit of grapefruit in this one which is really really nice it's amazing just how that flavor from the hops that is a grapefruit sometimes actually tastes like actual grapefruit and this is one of those beers where I know they've not put grapefruit in there, but grapefruit's the flavour of the month, well, probably flavour of the year for me, because I really love grapefruit juice. This has got that in there, and it's not just that uh, grapefruit-esque flavour you get from the hops. Finish is a little bit heavier than your regular pale ale. This is one of those things where it's like a, to me, it's like a cross between a bit more of a fruitier East Coast pale ale and a lovely, dank, old school West Coast. It's like the perfect come between of the two styles and it, it's just lifted up a bit as opposed to being like resiny and um, pine needly and that sort of stuff. But you do get that in there, which is really nice. Nice and oily on the palate as well. We'll pour a bit more in and then we'll give it a shake. I think this is actually just in a fringe of 35 mil, a fringe of 30 mil would be a bottle. But uh, yeah, this is a really good pale ale so far. There we go, let's put all of that goodness in, see if it changes the beer. It's definitely formed a head, about one finger's worth of a really nice and almost like creamy looking head. Beer seems to have uh, become a bit more opaque, a bit more murky, more bits and bobs floating around in there, as you can see. Lovely looking beer. I'm just amazed at how rye-like it looks. Definitely get a bit more of a yeasty character now that you've poured everything in. Almost along the lines of maybe like a Belgian-style yeast with those spicy tones bready as well now. The malts are speaking a bit more now that you've poured it all in. 
but you still get that underlining hoppiness, that vibrancy that you got when you initially smelt it. Again, lovely. Although it's changed, it, it's almost changed its makeup, but it's still got those recognizable tones when I initially smelt it. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. One final taste, I'll give it a rating. Hoppiness has died down now that it's all in. Bitterness is a little bit died down as well, although it's coming a bit more on the back end as opposed to the front end. Not as fruity now, it's a bit more yeasty, a little bit more bready. But that almost makes it a little bit more drinkable, so you're not getting bombarded with the aftermath of hops. I mean, it's not really aggressively hopped or anything like that, but, you know, this one, those beers were... Sometimes if you have like pale ale after pale ale after pale ale after pale ale after pale ale, after pale ale IPA after IPA after IPA after IPA, you start to get burnt out. Your palate just, well I find, your palate just goes haywire and it gets a little bit sickly. But I think with this, if you were to put it all in, it makes it a much more balanced beer. So it's like almost two completely different, uh, what the hell was that? It's like the most pathetic attempt at a gang sign ever. Uh, it's like um, it's like two completely different animals in one beer. So if you want it a bit more vibrant, then just pour it all in straight away. But if you wanted to get all of that uh, flavour, well actually you got all the flavour when you start. I'm, I'm rambling here. I'm sorry. If you want all that flavour, that hoppiness, then just pour it straight in. But if you want it to be a bit more subdued, but still have that hoppy character. Pour it in, give the rest a shake, get all of that lovely sediment in there. And uh, either way, it's uh, an absolutely lovely pale ale. Yeah, it's another fantastic beer from Pirate Brew Berlin. So if you've tried this, uh, rate him first, Pete. I've got to give that one... It's a 9 out of 10. Um can't fault it too much although i've had a couple of pale ales recently uh one from uh, lemke uh blau lemke also from berlin I had the 030 pale ale and that was just but the review might have already been uploaded by now i'm not too sure but this especially for uh, a brewery that does specialize more in the darker sorts of beers I'd happily pick up another one of these and I'd love to see Pirate Brew, uh, whatever they come up with next year in terms of a, a pale of beer. So yeah, it's another winner from those guys. So if you've tried it, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments box down below. If you've tried any of the Pirate Brew Berlin beers, love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Check them out, all their social media platforms are down below, as well as the links to my uh, playlist that I've made for them. And of course, check out uh, Brew Baker. And of course, check out Beretta, uh, because I've bought a hell of a lot of fantastic beers from that shop. And they just keep going from strength to strength. So it, it feels great to be part of this uh, craft beer scene here in Germany. And I'm in a really tiny part of it, um, but it's, it's just great to be involved. And uh, even though I'm just sat in front, well, stood in front of a camera talking about the beers, I feel like I'm part of something special, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, definitely going to enjoy the rest of this beer. Perfect for this summer heat. Perfect for outside. Perfect for a barbecue. Perfect for pulled pork. I'm in the mood for pulled pork now, so I have to wait till tomorrow before I can have some. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you later. Cheers.